Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, we are in Syria looking for the Tomb of the Prophet, which might be this. Um, because, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. We're trying to find trying to find a mystery that Laura's late father tried to solve, something concerning the, uh, the secret of the soul, or rather something that would prove the existence, the actual physical existence of the human soul, or something like that. Um, also involving some kind of secret organization, kind of like Illuminati or Knights Templar, uh, except called Trinity. And yeah, right now we're in Syria, we've been shot at, we've fallen off a cliff, and found our way to this place, which is beautiful looking. Um, now, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I missed a tutorial that actually told me that there is still this uh, survival instincts or, um, you know, secret sensing ability. And you can now toggle it on and off. It's actually on R3, though, which uh, is a different button from the previous game. Uh, you can also sprint, apparently, which is great. Um, also, I took another look at the map here, and you can actually switch to this display, which gives you a list of the challenges. So those still exist. Hang them high. Uh, zero out of seven incense burner shot. Except this time it tells you explicitly what to look out for, which I do appreciate. Um, no missions active in this region, apparently. Baba Yaga missions. No idea why they're specifically listed here. Uh, I thought the Baba Yaga was uh, a or the major story DLC, but it's. I thought it was uh, available only through that expeditions uh, system from the main menu. But maybe it's integrated into the main gameplay. I. I mean, we'll just have to play and find out those kinds of things. So. Uh, and we have a map legend here, which gives us a hint uh, as to what we might find later in the game. Uh, all kinds of animals, cats, bears, boars, deer, wolves, uh, that we'll maybe have to hunt in this game for actual materials to upgrade stuff. Obviously, there are tons of materials. Some of them you have to get from animals. Uh, zip lines will be mar marked on the map, entrances and exits, mission givers. So I guess there are side quests now, uh, which is kind of wild, but I'm looking forward to it. Mission location, challenges, yeah. Base camp, okay, so camps are still a thing. Um, document, relic, mural, survival cache, which is, okay. I guess just those XP containers. Uh, monoliths, explorer satchel, archivist map. Hmm, are those like, this, like the treasure maps from the previous game? Who knows? Coin cache, crypt treasure, crypt entrance. Challenge tombs. So crypts and challenge tombs are separate things. Uh, maybe crypts are more like the small, like are, are smaller, like more like the challenge tombs from from the previous game. And challenge tombs are actually going to be real tombs with a little bit more exploration going on this time around. I mean, here's hoping. Resources, caves, supply shacks, and strong boxes. So, so wow, just wow. Uh, also, the game put me here as I reloaded. So let's quickly travel back and take a look inside this beautiful looking hidden, well not particularly hidden as we saw the uh, military helicopter flying right by this place, but you know, kind the of hidden. Of Trinity pursued the prophet Tomb. and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Okay, thanks again dad. I suppose there's nowhere else for us to go but inside? Probably already missing things. A way through. Through or inside? Huh? Oh, okay. Now we move. Not a fan of these cobwebs here, but... Lara doesn't seem to care too much. Damn it. What? Come on. Seriously? Those things are supposed to... Oh, holy. holy. I guess she has more. I was gonna say, they, they're supposed to uh, stay on for a while. Ooh. Very, <laughs> very Indiana Jones right here. Come on, keep moving. Don't spend any more time in here than you absolutely have to. Alright. Break on through. We're inside the tomb now. First, there was a battle second here. achievement. I don't know. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. 
the Order of Trinity. Hmm. Oh, well, that's very subtle. Well, wrong button, by the way. Gift of Elms. Search inside small containers with orange coloring for rewards. All right. I guess this is where the game begins for real, with all its various collectibles and systems. Uh, maybe it's just going to introduce them slowly, one at a time. Really? Oh. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Hmm. Okay, so the prophet... seems seem to have discovered the secret of immortality and the order of trinity didn't want him to have that or to to claim that he did okay the leader of the order of trinity apparently asked his own son or tasked his own son with uh killing the prophet interesting oh you're old the prophet Slain by the Order of Trinity. Hmm. Or was he? Alright, more Greek knowledge somehow, even though there is no writing at all. Well, I suppose there is writing about it. Never mind. Is that it? Didn't pay attention to whether the mural was actually highlighted by this. Probably was. Okay. Actually, what's the map say? Alright. Pretty, pretty linear so far. But I'm... Expecting there to be more ex open exploration areas later. Oh, okay, well, that's dangerous. That so I'll shoot that. Okay. Thankfully, that trap was extremely brittle. Always look behind you. Nope. Wait. They're blasting their way in. Oh no. I try to sprint. It doesn't seem to do anything here. Maybe only when you're outside or something. Oh god. Well. Okay, thankfully that wasn't too deep. Uh huh. Okay. Can I break this open? Oh. I don't actually swing my axe. I use the use button. Wait. Oh. It's gonna fill with water now. I was not, a way to release that old platform. was not expecting that to be uh, part of the solution to this. Wait, I need to... Oh. Yes. So I'll climb up here. Yes. Shoot the thing. Easy enough. They were probably expecting me to shoot that platform first, but, you know, this works just fine. Took a nice little refreshing bath in the ancient stagnant water. Always nice. Okay. A little slide. For good measure. Oh, crap. Um. Well, this, uh, this is still bad. But I suppose she's really lucky that it didn't just chop her foot straight off. Very benign kind of bear trap right there. Okay. No problem. Fog wall. This is Dark Souls. What? Boss fight coming up? The Dark Souls of Tomb Raider games. I guess it was just a little bit foggy, except now it's not. And again. Stunning. Beautiful. Yeah, stunning this stuff. Got some platforms gently swaying. Actually, it looks like 
it's hanging on some kind of rubber rope. <laughs> the way it's bouncing up and down, but that's fine. Okay, now we are actually adventuring, I suppose. Yes, okay. We got coin caches highlighted on the map. So we're still looking for... Oh, actually, that was a document that we found, not a relic. Yeah, I guess it was a scroll case, not not an actual... Well, I mean, it kind of is still a relic, you know. But um, Right, so we have a challenge to complete. I hope... I mean, it, it looks like we can't return to, to where we just were. So I'm assuming that... Um, the challenge for uh, shooting those incense burners only starts here. Uh, two relics, three more documents, and the two to uh, the two missing coin caches are right here. So there's that. Let's see if we can see anything right away. Whoa! What? She started moving on her own. Hmm. Okay, I guess the. Uh, Survival instinct doesn't stay on forever. That's fine. Okay. Got yes. To find a way to get up higher. Yeah, we can break that again. Maybe I can raise the water. Hmm. You think so? I don't know. I don't see any possible way how we could. Yeah. No. I'm stuck. I give up. Can we climb up there? It doesn't seem to be in. Any reason to, but I just want to know. No? no? I guess not. I suppose we can always swim anywhere after we do this. Okay, I was lying. I actually knew what to do. I'm sorry. There we go. So how much higher is it going to rise? About this much higher, I guess. Just enough for me to be able to reach previously unreachable places. Like this. That uh, well. Is holding the water back. I wonder if I can lift it. I wonder. Probably not, though. That would be way too convenient. Okay. Hmm. I don't see a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, I get it. This is very slippery. I just want to get a better angle, but I guess if I can't get one, then I don't need one. That's how these things work. But I can always climb up here, actually. And then to this platform, which will give me exactly the vantage point I wanted. In fact, okay, I definitely need to fix my stick drift again. I thought it was universal, but I guess I have to do it on a per-game basis. Hold on a second. Okay, I hope it's better now. I really have to look into this, but not right now. Yeah, okay, so obviously we jump onto this, and actually this is probably going to act as a counterweight and open that, huh? Yeah. Wait, what? You didn't jump? Oh my god, what? That was strange? Okay, okay. Calm down. Just climb up here. Sorry about the technical issues, although I'm not sure whether <laughs> her not jumping was a technical issue or just my issue? Would you? Okay. There we go. Uh, not the straightest of jumps, but it works, and that platform con conveniently broke, because we will never need it again. Except maybe we'll use the, the beam that's left? I guess the debris is only debris. Not useful. Alright, okay. Now we can climb up there if we want to. Um, we're still looking for those coin caches. Okay, I guess they're... We have to actually leave this basin area first. Doesn't seem to be anything for us to do here, except... Maybe there is. Well, there is that, for sure. Wait, a second highlighted? Yes, okay. So, maybe all collectibles just highlight as you approach them now, which is definitely... Very convenient. Oh wait, is this actually? Sure is. Okay. I should have double checked if that thing was actually highlighted with uh, survival instincts. I certainly don't remember seeing it becoming shiny or anything. 
This must be... Wait, is this where we came in? I guess this is actually nothing, so never mind. Ew, this spider web is still swaying there. He cannot seem to dive. Hmm. Yeah, no. What? Oh, never mind. I can dive? Kind of? That's not the button I was expecting to press to dive. We're, I'm holding the, the aim button now. And all it does is do this. Basically allowing her to see underwater. But if we can't dive any deeper, I suppose we can't ever interact with anything that's lower than surface level. So, I don't know. Maybe that's going to be unlocked later. We can climb on land here. There is another burner. And it's not being highlighted at all. I guess that's maybe the trade-off for the, uh, the map outright telling you what to look out for. Okay, I guess that's not... Somewhere we can we can go. Fair enough. There's another one right there. Okay. Those are different though. Obviously they don't have the shooty things that I need because these things are actually Oh, wait. Oh, huh, they are physics enabled at least. That's unexpected. I don't know, it, it probably shouldn't be unexpected. But they're also too sturdy for me to actually shoot. First relic. Another religious symbol. But this one is simple and handmade. The prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. Hmm, what do you mean another religious symbol? I don't think I've found one before. Obviously, this is the first relic I found, so. Okay, well. I'll take it though. Ooh. We're gonna climb all the way up there. Well, first, I'm gonna do the obvious thing and not climb up here, but check out this ledge first. Actually, oh, maybe that's not where I need to climb up. It is the most prominent feature, though. Oh, another document just lying here. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him oh. die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. Mm -hmm. This, I swear. Because obviously he didn't just come back to life. No one could. The question, of course, is why Trinity specifically felt so threatened by the possibility of that man actually resurrecting. I mean, if if it were just the church... Oh, hi there. The controller was vibrating a little bit again. It gave us seven more coins. I'm assuming it's not always going to be seven, or else that would be a weird number. Um, yeah, if it were actual, you know, church, I'd kind of understand that they they want to have exclusivity to, you know, performing miracles. But then again, I mean, if he was called the prophet, I guess he must have been part of the church or of some sort of religion. The next cash. That was serendipitous, although they, they are not that hard to find. There is the controller vibration, but they're also on the map apparently, so yeah. These are not, nope, those are definitely not murals or anything. But I should probably be looking out for more incense burners. I find it a little bit, oh, just coins lying around. Thanks for highlighting those. Definitely would have missed those. Um, I am a little bit concerned about these things not being highlighted at all. So I actually have to pay attention myself, which is, you know, not good. 
I'm also sure that they made the first one of these extremely easy to do. So everything after this might be a bit more of a challenge. Oh, you can actually climb to this. Oh, did not expect that. And there is a map. Map of what? Archivist map. Reveal locations of documents, relics, and murals. Okay, but not collectibles or challenges, which kind of makes sense. Okay. Oh, wait, never mind, it does. <laughs> never mind. Well then, in that case, I guess it's all good. If they're actually part of treasure maps now, there is no problem whatsoever. Oh, this looks crumbly. Spike trap. Wait, what? Oh, it's just a spike pit. Uh oh. Uh, please give me some more time to look around and pick up stuff like this here. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road wearing the prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee and followed him back to the oasis. Sneaky. Whether the prophet escaped death or whether another <coughs> now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside. That and it explains all the bodies. At last. Hmm, hmm. I see. Okay, we can jump to this. And over here. Where was the document I missed? further that way. I guess that's actually somewhere I haven't been yet. But there is also... Oh, wait. It looks like we can climb higher on that structure, but... There's also supposed to be... Yeah, this must be the path I'm supposed to take. There must be another incense burner over there somewhere. thought I shot one pretty much in that corner before, but... Uh... Can we get to that higher level on the other side? That might be the vantage point I need. Oh. Wait. That is not on the map. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why they showed one but not the other? Right, yeah, of course. I saw this and thought that I might actually... Nope, not a slide. Can we scramble up here? Or... Looks like a ledge to grab, right? For sure. Yes, yes it is. Oh, I... Don't do that, please. Also, this doesn't actually lead anywhere, as I should have known. Huh. Okay, never mind. Maybe there isn't a way to reach that level. Maybe you can just see the thing from over here. Hmm. Of course, I don't really know what altitude level to even look at. Not sure, also, if I was just sliding there or if, or if my stick did act, up, did act up again. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely moving. Ugh, this is annoying. Wait. Yeah, I definitely shot, shot one over here. Isn't this the place that the map is showing me? I'm sorry for taking this so slowly, by the way. Huh. Yeah, it's supposed to be right here, but this is definitely where I shot the first one, so I don't know. Maybe it's not showing me once I'm missing. But then, what is the point? Yeah, I know, I don't know. Might be above, maybe we're going to actually reach the, uh, the highest level at some point. Also, apparently, you hold B to swim faster. I thought it was tapping. I guess not. Also, she climbs extremely slowly compared to, you know, how swiftly she moves pretty much everywhere else. Yeah, I think there's nothing more to do here with this structure specifically. So I'll just move on. 
Slightly encouraged by the fact that there is only one incense burner remaining, apparently. Seems pretty possible to find that. But, okay, hold on though. It does look like you're supposed to climb that, doesn't it? But I can't actually, yeah, I, I tried to reach that ledge and couldn't. Okay, never mind. Moving on for now. No, this looks unsafe. Oh, God. Another spike trap, huh? Yep, sure enough. And you are? Oh. Just a straight-up pressure plate. I mean, I'm curious to see what it does, but at the same time, it's probably best not to trigger it. Can you shoot it? Oh, you can. Wait. Whoa. Huh. Okay. I guess it is worth triggering, not only for potential backtracking, but also because it gives you XP. You really have to be on the lookout for those, though. Wow. Which is, you know, the way it should be, but still. Is that one? No. There is the... Nope. There's the final document. My lord. The last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates. And I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Hmm. It's heresy. So, I mean, they are clearly religious. Or think of themselves as such. Alright. As a reward for finding all the documents, we became better at Ancient Greek. We can shoot that thing down. Use that as a platform for some kind of purpose later. And jump to this. Which, once again, acts as a counterweight. Can break that open to make the water rise. Oh, is that the final one? Actually, it was. There we go. Hang on high. 2,000 credits earned. Oh, yeah. Credits. Uh, earned for exploration. Use credits to purchase card packs in the marketplace. I actually took a brief look uh, at that, at the marketplace, off camera. I'm not sure when would be a good time to explore that on video. But I will at some point because uh, it's. I wasn't sure. I, I didn't open it at first because I wasn't sure if, just, if it would just uh, open some kind of, you know, um, exterior website shop interface or something. Uh, it's actually just an in-game thing, and it. Uh, I mean, I suppose it's kind of a microtransaction in-game shop of sorts, but it doesn't seem that bad. Also, you can apparently buy all those things. Uh, all kinds of various modifiers for the challenge mode things uh, with in-game currency. Those coins, apparently. Yes. Okay, that doesn't seem like a lot of water, but still made the water level rise quite a bit. Oh, also, hey there, coins. Can I interact with that part at all? Why is that marker there specifically? Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. Oh, wow, that's a uh, gush of water. <laughs> Pushed her. Oh, oh, that's not permanent. I see. Wait, so how do we do this? Nope, that's... That's not how. Can we jump to the thing from here? Nope. Okay, so... What's the trick here? Trying to... Stay on this platform long enough? No, it's raising the water. It's flushing me straight off. My little platform is already 
It's already there. Okay, so I'm trying to reach that from from the platform. I see. Yeah, that gets shot forward like so. We climb onto it and then up here. I see. And okay, I see. From here we can actually jump to that beam. Which then allows us to flood the tomb with water entirely. Destroying, you know, centuries old or millennia old architecture and relics. As one does as an, as an archaeologist. Okay, and this is how we actually reach this place. So I was right about it looking like somewhere we would end up climbing. Are reaching. Huh? Okay. Found you. So is it gonna be empty or is he gonna be alive in there? Thank us for rescuing him. Nope. Empty. It's empty. I mean, to be fair, that was no. the more likely outcome. What, did I miss? what exactly were you hoping to find in there? Hey, yep, sure is. Huh? What did she see? Oh, is she hiding inside the, the coffin? I thought they already saw her. I guess not. Set the charges. Um, that's bad. Is she actually hiding in there? I mean, that's kind of painfully Rusty obvious, tomb. though. After all this time, and the hmm. artifact inside, God willing. Okay, so we were looking for an actual artifact. That looks nasty, buddy. Huh? Open it carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. I mean, she's not going to be in there, right? That would be... Nope, never mind. She's totally in there. <laughs> okay. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Um, Trinity. Well, I mean, yeah. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look... It was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. I mean, she clearly doesn't have it on her right now. Well, I suppose that's that. We'll all be friends now. Oh, or not. What? She took that from him? That seems like a really bad idea. did not actually get I was wondering why that was such a delay. Well, and also she's suddenly outside the sarcophagus? Well, I, sh I thought she, yeah, she definitely climbed in that, into that, but, you know, it's fine. And now we're running. Move the body? Nope. Just, just go. Oh, ow! What? Oh, I messed up. I was supposed to be faster, I guess. I don't assume it's possible to dodge, to actively dodge falling rocks like that. No. This is gonna be a linear thing. Okay, just to make sure though, we... Oh, we missed a relic. What? Wait. That's not possible. Except it's right there. Um, okay. Well, that's... That sucks. Except... Unless we, we get back there, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, that's fine. I guess I wasn't in look around for stuff mode back when I was there. Oh, look at things lining up perfectly for her to escape. Oh, God. Everything's fine. Almost there. Just don't get hit by random rocks. Oh my god, I mean, she's getting hit by dozens of rocks. <laughs> or stones, whatever. 
Yeah, this seems kind of familiar too. I think I've seen a similar scene in some kind of movie. Was that actually Indiana Jones? What's this? Oh. I don't know. A cross symbol. And the stone. Is it important? Croft Manor. Sorry, England. Okay. find the prophet's tomb yes but i was followed what by who they call themselves trinity they tried to kill me what the hell is going on here you're starting to scare me the tomb yeah, is a little empty. bit manic perhaps i think they were looking for the divine source the, the artifact your father was after there's more i found this symbol in the tomb i knew i'd seen it before it was driving me insane that's when it hit me i saw it here in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. It's just a cross. There must be hundreds of similar looking cross designs. <laughs> All across history. In the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> um, no. Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. Hmm. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Well, that escalated quickly, but I mean, he's kind of right. Damn it. I suppose we wouldn't really have all these games if she didn't obsess about these ancient mysteries the way she does. So, Jonah. can't be helped. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frame rate, what is going on? What is happening? The game was running super smoothly until just now. Okay. Um. Oh god. I hope it's still recording alright. Okay. Seems to have fixed itself. Oh yeah, thanks for coming back. And then she didn't need his help after all. Drop the book. You really should drop you the book. Um, why did she let him jump out the window? Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? Uh, after him. Them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real. We've got to find it first. Siberia it is then. I guess that mountain was in Siberia then. Okay. So are we gonna jump straight to that? Yeah, I guess. Northeastern Siberia, present day. Alright. Oh, hey, he's doing fine. 
Jonah? Was not expecting that. I mean, I didn't really think he was dead, but Jonah, I thought we'd have to go ahead and save him. Hear me. Go back. Please don't try to find me. Roger. I need to do this alone. But he said he set up a camp. He looked like he could need. I don't know. A rest and a warm tent. Find a place to take shelter. Quite a tumble achievement unlocked. Yeah, well, not the first one. By any means. Uh, you know what, though? I think this is a very good stopping point. And perhaps. I mean, it should have auto saved, right? Actually, we can save the game manually. Uh, yes, I'm going to. I mean, I suppose. I should save over a different slot. Just in case I need to go back, I really hope I don't have to. Um, exit to main menu, yes. And maybe I can use this time to take a little look at some of these things. Actually, I also want to see if the uh, if we can use the expeditions mode now. Okay, suddenly we're 6% complete. All right. Or is that only, it says, is that 6% of the Siberian wilderness? I'm not sure. Um, we'll worry about that next time. Okay, now we have Croft Manor available, which is apparently just a... A little thing you can explore whenever, I suppose. Obviously not part of the main story. Um, right, so I want to see if we can use the expeditions mode to uh, pick up that uh, missing relic real quick. Choose a level to play, progress through the story to unlock more levels. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, score attack, chapter replay. Prophet's Tomb, difficulty Tomb Raider, which is normal, right? Yes. Okay, uh, XP 3. 3 medals. No challenges, no missions, no artifacts, no bases. 1 point, 1 times points for kills. Okay, I I mean, I have no idea what any of this means, mostly. Okay, so we can we earn extra uh, credits for challenges, I see. Deathless, I mean, that should be easy in this level in particular. Untouchable... Without taking any damage. Uh, okay. I mean, there were there were really only two enemies during the entire section, right? They're basically free. Three headshot kills within... I mean, that's not possible because there are only two enemies. Obviously, I'm not in it for the... I'm not in this for the, the points. The score at all. Okay, cards have gameplay changing effects. Some cards act as score multipliers. Use credits to purchase card packs in the marketplace. Right, I don't really want to do that quite yet. I just want to see if we, if this mode actually allows me to... Oh yeah, complete challenges and earn credits. Okay. I mean, complete challenges. I su suppose that also includes pick up collectibles you missed. <laughs> right. Uh, skip? Nope, skip like this. Hello? Oh, there we go. Skip? Nope. I guess this, this is not skippable. I wonder though if the map reveals everything right off the bat. Probably does. No turning back. Oh, okay. It has to be here. So it is past the... actually... Oh, before the, the Chamber of Murals? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Lara. I don't have time for this. Hurry up a little bit, please. Yes, I see it. I know. Hmm. Oh. I guess research about this. we have to sit through these it was said scripted scenes because this is the very first mission. Legend speaks of an Still, ideally, I'll... I won't have to replay any of the later stages at all, because I'm going to pick up everything right away and not miss anything at all. That's absolutely going to happen. Why not, please? Come on. Or is it actually here? Hold on. It totally is here, isn't it? Oh my god. Huh? 
Oh, there we go. No? What? Wait, what? Um... Expeditions? Oh. We don't have our normal menu here. Items found one. Assuming that's the item I just picked up, but I'm... I guess we just don't get any uh, pickup confirmation. Can we? Can I? Oh. Could this really be it? Hmm. That's a, disappointing that we don't get the the little text and whatnot, and not even access to our. Don't, we don't even get access to our regular inventory. It looks like. Incredible. Can this one? Can I skip? Yes. Come on. I mean, I guess I have what I wanted. Assuming that's now saved. Huh. Also interesting that it does highlight or does show the relic location, even though it doesn't show the symbol anymore or anything. Okay, weird. Um, maybe there's a different way to do this. Is any progress? I mean, if it's not saved, picking up the item is not saved, then I can always redo this. Um, I will not look at Croft Manor now. I will just briefly show this off. Uh, so cards, right, you can buy these card packs with credits. It goes uh, up to very, very expensive. 30 random cards, 8 of which are guaranteed to be rare. I mean, I don't really know how much I'm going to be playing with this at all, but it's nice that it's there. These are all the things that we have. Um, and I... Apparently the, the version of the game I bought includes the season pack, so just uh, the season um, season pass. So just every DLC ever released, I guess, which includes uh, outfits, which I'm not really sure how to, to even change. Maybe you can just do that from the menu. I wasn't really looking for that. White Widow Recur Bow Skin, Master Hunter Foil Card, which deals double damage to animals. Hmm, okay. Again, I'm, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to play with the Expeditions mode. Or if I'm going to do it uh, in the context of this Let's Play. Maybe I'm going to spend some time with it off-camera. And if it seems particularly exciting or interesting, I might include it on video. Or, of course, you let me know if, you, if you'd like to see as much Tomb Raider content as you possibly can. Even if it's, you know, kind of not story, not main story related like this. Um... Sure, why not? Ancient vanguards, okay. Really, Lara in a in chainmail or in full plate? That makes sense. Endurance, alone in the wild, Lara must scrounge, scavenge, craft and survive the harsh elements uh, by day, as well as lethal threats from enemies, both man and beast by night. This is her ultimate woman versus wild test to push the limits of how long she can survive on her own in sprawling, unforgiving landscapes. Fire takes fuel, cold skills the un cold kills the unprepared food restores health but everything must be caught collected or okay this is uh, i cannot manually scroll that by the way fire takes fuel cold kills the unprepared food restores health but everything must be caught collected or crafted you start with nothing and must find everything challenge fans to your longest survival run and battle to the top of the leaderboards. Yeah, okay, well, obviously not particularly interested in that. Baba Yaga. Drawn out by the ravages of war, ghastly demonic apparitions seek revenge upon those who have trespassed into their domain. Lara searches for answers, but must solve this ancient mystery. She must, but to solve this ancient mystery, she must craft a new weapon and battle a terrifying array of cursed souls who torment the living invaders in the, in the icy Siberian wilderness. This adventure expands the story of the main campaign, with Lara facing deadly new adversaries in a new trap-laden tomb while seeking clues and... Well, I really hate that you... that this scrolls automatically and you can't... cannot even make it scroll faster. A new trap-laden tomb while seeking clues and resources throughout the main campaign's world before culminating in a showdown with an ancient and legendary evil. So, yeah, I don't know if you... if this is somehow integrated in the main story or... If this is supposed to be played after you complete the game. It kind of sounds like it. If you know more about this, uh, please feel free to let me know when would be the best time to to tackle this 
if it's not part of the main gameplay, the main story, Cold Darkness. The commission during the Cold War and dormant biochemical weapons plant has been breached, unleashing neural compounds into the Siberian wilds that transform beasts and men into bloodthirsty, mindless killers. Laura must overcome increasingly dangerous waves of these infected predators while scrounging their equipment and crafting additional gear on the fly in Kill or Be Killed Survival Combat. Playing key locations from the main campaign with new story and new challenges while discovering a way to stop or perhaps even reverse this toxic cloud of destruction. Okay, so that definitely sounds like I should play after the main game, if at all. Horizon, huh? 20 year celeb. In the, in the wake of her father's death, Lara's uncle challenges her ownership of Croft Manor. Okay, so yeah, this is what unlocks Croft Manor in the first place. I must explore her childhood home in the new Blood Ties story mode to reclaim her legacy and uncover a family mystery that will change her life forever. In Lara's Nightmare, Hordes of the Undead over on Croft Manor, uh, Resident Evil, and Lara must defend it before the nightmare overwhelms her. Blood Ties includes over an hour of additional single-player story. Over an hour is not I mean, that much, but I'll take it. As well as community challenges with card modifiers that allow you to compete against your friend's scores in Lara's Nightmare. Yeah. This pack also includes five classic Lara Croft skins, an outfit and weapon inspired by Tomb Raider 3, and the new Extreme Survivor difficulty setting for the main campaign, which I'm definitely never going to to uh, activate, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Replayable combat mode, classic skins, wonderful. And that's the season pass, which I guess sums up everything I just read. Right, okay, so that certainly sounds interesting. I mean, some of that more than others, but um, I think for the time being, I'm just going to focus on the main story and not worry about those things too much. Uh, but we also have, this is the 14 that we saw in the menu. So apparently we have bought all of these things. So... Huh? Oh, okay. I guess we'll be opening loot crates now. Night Owl. Time of day has no effect on cold, but hunger doubles at night. Oh. Okay. Cold-blooded. Deal additional damage when freezing. Alright. And that's like minus 10% to our score or something, because those give us benefits. Minus 25%, small game hunter. Small animals give it twice as much food. Okay, dead of winter. Cannot freeze, cannot bandage, and hunger is increased. Regain health and hunger using melee finishes on enemies. But that gives a massive boost to score, makes sense. Temporary, uh, te temperature drops more quickly with each day that passes. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, not having actually played the uh, any of the expeditions things, <laughs> any of the expeditions, I guess. Um, I don't really know how much of an effect any of these cards might have, including the Bowmaster card. Okay. I mean, I'm. I guess I'm not going to open all of these on camera. Death's Breath Five. <laughs> Death's Breath. Wait. Uh. Hmm. There is a game called Breath of Death. I'm not sure if this is a reference. Probably not. Uh, Grants fully upgraded Death's Breath compound bow. Okay, so that's just what the item is called. Gotcha. Uh, Grants unlimited fire arrows. Sounds useful, I guess. Shadowrunner Master. Grants a Shadowrunner outfit and all skins, all skills from the Hunter, Brawler, and Survivor skill trees. Oh, I mean, it sounds like there is a lot to the system. Like, really a lot. Which means I probably want to experience it in some capacity, but again, I mean, first the focus is obviously on the main story. Grants all bow upgrades, increased arrow damage, and increased zoom. Huh. Sure. Okay, again, I'm going to check out the rest of these packs off camera, I guess, just open them to get them out of the way. Maybe look into expeditions some more. And, well, next time we're going to continue the story, as I said, multiple times now. Um, we'll see, I suppose, whether the uh, that relic is collected. And I, I assume that if it is, if it does count as collected now, then we'll probably be able to take a look at it in the menu, which is kind of, you know, not as good as having it pop up just when you collect it. But I suppose that's because the expeditions modes, or the replay modes, are mainly for score attack. Um... Those things are not going to automatically pop up, which kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is a better way to r return to earlier levels to collect stuff, or maybe there isn't. Um, anyway, I'm going to end it here. This episode has become pretty long, but there are tons of new things to explore. 
So uh, I'm sure you understand. Anyway, um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.